Hey everybody, how are we doing? I'm glad to be making another video. I thought that today we can maybe make some fish, some fresh halibut, as long as some rice with different vegetables mixed in to kind of give the rice some more nutrition. So as we can see here, we have all the ingredients that you might need for this recipe. We have some halibut here, some corn, a crown of broccoli, some parsley that will be added to the halibut before baking, some lemon, and your spices here which include uh, some pepper, garlic, salt, olive oil as well for the halibut as well as the rice. And we have some rice here, about one cup. And this will be enough to feed about two people for one dinner. Okay, so we have here the kitchenware that we might need. We have a saucepan right here, and I went ahead and filled it up with about three and a half to four cups of water for the rice. I'm going ahead and started boiling it now. I'm preheating the stove, the oven, I mean, to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We have a, another skillet right here, and also this uh, kind of pan with foil on top so we can put the halibut in and bake it. Okay, so before we go ahead and put the halibut in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and marinate it a little bit so we can just go ahead and put some olive oil. Just kinda spread it in, you know, maybe use your fingers to, to spread it in a little bit. Some olive oil, you know, some salt, pepper. Some pepper. Some garlic, just a little bit. And this is the parsley that I was talking about, so you, you can just add a bit, as much as you like really, but it's not necessary to add a whole lot. And last we want to spread some lime, lemon juice over the halibut so it can have that flavor bake into it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the halibut in, in the oven. The oven is heated to 400 degrees. We'll go ahead and do that. And at the same time that we do that, we're going to go ahead and start cooking the rice so that it can come out at a similar time. So remember, just one cup of rice and about three and a half to four cups of water should be fine. Once the rice is in the pot, go ahead and lower the heat and you wanna cover it up. I can't find mine, but we'll, we'll find it right now. And also, go ahead and cook the halibut for 15, around 15 minutes would be good. Okay, so I went ahead and cut up the vegetables that would go into the rice. I went ahead and cut up about an ear of corn as well as about half of a crown of broccoli. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and heat those up first. Heat those up first on the skillet so that they can kind of, you know, cook themselves through and then we'll add it to the rice later on once the rice is almost done. Okay, so the corn and the broccoli have been heating up for a few minutes now. The rice is almost done. You can see it's a little fluffy now. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and add that to the rice. Just kind of mix it all up. And add some salt. Okay. Well, that should be it for the rice. The rice should be done, as well as the halibut. The halibut's finished as well. 15 minutes have passed, so we're gonna go ahead and take that out. Okay, so here we have it, y'all. Some baked halibut with some rice and vegetables. I hope that y'all liked it. I hope that it was easy for y'all to make. And remember that the most important ingredient whenever you're making food is a little bit of love. So just remember that. So if there's anything I can do to make my videos better or any suggestions for food, that'd be great. Much appreciated and thank y'all for watching.